George, was, he and I were always challenging each other, and he hated horses, hated horses. So, of course, when I would get on my horse, I'd charge him on my horse, you know. So as George says, you think you're pretty hot, don't you? I said, what do you mean, what about? And he says, well, you think you can do anything? And so I took it, and I said, yeah, probably just about anything. And he says, is there a sport that you couldn't do? And I said, I can't think of one I was, I was going along with. It. And he said, how about fencing? I said, fencing? Yeah, I can do that. And he said, ah, do you think you do it well enough to make a bet? And I said, well, it depends who I'm fencing with. And he said, well, it's time to say I pick somebody in the crew, and we'll have a contest. But it'll be a formal contest. We're going to have a judge and so forth. I looked around to try to size everybody up, and I said, I don't see any guys that look like fencers here, you know? So I said, yeah. He said, great. Shake. Deal. He said, you have a foil? Do you have a foil? And I said, well, there's one up in Utah. And he said, I get it. So he left it at that. Then we got down to Mexico, and he really started to give me a hard time. And I said, who am I going to fence? Have you picked somebody? And he says, yeah. And I said, who? And he says, me. I said, you? I looked at him, I checked, and I said, I don't think so. And then I went by his room one night, and the door was partly open. And he was there with his assistant, Bobby Carper, and they were going over his script stuff. And there was this bag on the bed. It said, U.S. team. And there was foils, rapiers, epes in there. I thought, Jesus, my God, what have I got myself into? The guy's an ace. That's the only thing he ever did. He said, OK, 5 o'clock on the tennis court. He says, we have to pick seconds. He got the police chief to come and be a judge. I mean, it was a big deal. And I was really sweating it. I thought, God, it's been so long since I fenced, you know, I fenced a little bit in school. So I thought, well, I just got to go for it now. It's 5 o'clock, and the entire crew's out there showing up, and they put so much money on the line. There's so much dough going back and forth, and Paul's at the center of it, right, with the big kitty. And uh, suddenly, Paul, uh, George doesn't show at 5. And I'm saying, wait a minute. Oh God, is my going to be blessed? 5, 5, 5, 10, 5, 15, 5, 20, no George. Knowing that if it was reversed, if I hadn't shown up, George would have called it and says, I am automatically the champion. He didn't show up. It's default. 5, 30 came. Finally, he comes, and his arms are draped over these two guys, and, the, and he, in agony, and they, he comes in, and he, can, he can't walk. These guys are helping, and I said, OK, George, you lose. And he said, yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. His back went out. He was on location, scouting locations. His back went out, and he had to be brought back. And he says, OK. I said, so I win. You all got that? I tell them, how much money is on the line? 300 bucks? It's mine. He says, no, you're right. It's yours if you can take it that way. I said, what do you mean if I can take it that way? He says, no, I mean, there's no contest. You're entitled to it legally, you know, whatever, ethically. But there was no contest. I said, well, it can be a contest if you if you fade it. It's your problem is it's not my problem. He said, well, I can always pick a stand-in. And I looked around, who are you going to pick? And he looked around, he started to ask the guys. He asked a couple of stunt guys, can you stand in for him? They said, God, George, I don't know. I can't, I don't know how to fence. Another guy said, oh, I, I'm not sorry. And he finally got desperate. Nobody could do it. And he turned to his little assistant. He said, Bobby, he says, could you? And he said, Jesus, George, he said, I did a little bit in school, but he said, well, could you? He said, all right. So he gives him a song. I thought, oh, I'm going to love this. Bobby gets up and goes, whoop, whoop, whoop. I said, I am a dead man. It was Bobby who was the champion. George never fenced a day in his life. I've never been had so hard. It was such a great have. I, I had to love it. I had to love it. I lost the money. I lost the mat. I about killed Bobby because I was so ad adrenaline rushed, you know, but, um, and, and I actually scored some points because I was so ferocious because I thought, God, I mean, that's about as good as it gets.